news tonight uh, in Chicago. It is, you know, the end of an era. Like, that's it. Jonathan Taves uh, and the Chicago Blackhawks hosting the Philadelphia Flyers. These were the two teams that we saw in the Stanley Cup Final 2010 uh, with the official rise of the Chicago Blackhawks. Um, here come the Hawks, shades of 1961 and that drought uh, ending in 2010. Patrick Kane, Jonathan Taves, Duncan Keith, go right down the list. Uh, Brent Seabrook, Nicholas Chalmerson, keep going and 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 and. It's a powerhouse team, uh, and they won three Stanley Cups, and they showed what happened in a salary cap universe. Uh, after you win Stanley Cups, uh, you need to shed skin and then recharge, and they did it successfully, winning the Stanley Cup three times. And as someone, and I wish I had the person's name handy, and I apologize that I don't, um, Jonathan Taves, last man standing, and as someone uh, tweeted me this week, the captain is going down with the ship. He is from that era, the last player uh, on this team. I don't think for a second that Jonathan Taves um, in his mind is done playing hockey. I still think that Jonathan Taves wants to play uh, doubtful whether there's still a place for him within the Blackhawks organization uh, as Cal Davidson looks to um, transform that team and rebuild that team. Um, I, one would suspect that if Taves is playing somewhere next year in the NHL, it's somewhere else. I know the romantic story is Winnipeg. Just bracket that for a second here. Uh, end of an era tonight, 15 games around the NHL this evening. Um, some positions still up for grabs in, you know, every uh, division except for, um, the Atlantic. Uh, so the Metro, the Central and the Pacific, uh, I'll look to have some seating ramifications for the game tonight. Second last day of the regular season and the end of an era in Chicago. Jonathan Taves, we suspect, his last game in a Chicago Blackhawks uniform.